are your tests running? Better go catch them. No. <laughs> um, so this is a video about PyTest and a pretty common problem that I've actually seen it, I think three companies that I've worked at now, um, where tests aren't actually running and they're just silently doing nothing. Uh, so I'm gonna show you this problem. You know, Sentry actually has this problem right now. I'm gonna be fixing it on stream soon. Uh, but let's let's jump into it and kind of demonstrate what's going on here. All right, so it's a pretty common setup in a Python project to have a test folder and to have tests inside of it. So let's say, I don't know, whatever module test.py. And if you put a test in it or two, then everything is fine. We run, we pip install pytest. And if we run pytest tests, it'll work great. Great, perfect, awesome. So this is kind of the normal setup and kind of what you expect from things. Now, the one caveat with PyTest is it has a particular naming scheme that it likes to use for tests. And that usually is either ending in underscore test or starting in underscore test. And if you have a file which doesn't match this, but has tests in it, so let's say we copy that whatever model test to, let's say tests.py, you'll notice that PyTest doesn't run it, and it just silently skips this. Even though if you were to run it directly, we still have tests in there. And this is a pretty common problem. Like often, you know, you're, you're working on this file and you iterate on it, you get your test passing, you get pull requests, someone reviews it, it gets merged, but those tests never run. Uh, <laughs> and I wanted to show you kind of two ways to fix this. The first is that PyTest has an option for this. I don't remember what it's called. Uh, it's like test files or something. I don't recommend changing test files personally, but there is an option where you can configure what paths it uses. Oh, it's down here somewhere in collection, right? No? Oh. Well, you can look up the docs. I don't remember it because I don't recommend it. Uh, what I recommend is to instead set up a linter to do this for you. Now, fortunately, you can use pre-commit to do this. Uh, sample config, commit config.yaml, and there is a pre-commit hook for this specifically. Let's forget the name of it, but we can check it out. Pre-commit hooks, and there is a name tests tests. Name tests tests. Admittedly, the uh, original <laughs> naming for this, it probably would be better named something like test naming convention, because uh, it grew a little bit of um, extra behavior after after the initial implementation of this. But if you add this pre commit hook, uh, let's say we have our file here, this is just the generated one. You'll often want to run pre commit auto update, so we get the latest version. Yep, now we're on version 4.20, cool, great. <laughs> Not intentional, but that's the way things go. Uh, and so now, oh. <laughs> I don't have a get ignore in this. That's why you don't run get add dot. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so now that we have these files here, if I were to go and try and commit this uh, tests, this git hook is going to helpfully tell us that we have a test file that doesn't match that pattern. It needs to uh, have any any number of characters then in a, then underscore test.py. So this is the default configuration for this. Uh, if you configure it in the Django mode, which Again, probably not the best naming. Uh, args Django. Then it will uh, it'll change the convention for this. So in Django, um, it is test dot star. Now notice that test s dot pi would match this. So you got to be very careful that you match whatever convention you're using with whatever discovery setting you use in pytest. I don't remember what it is, but I get I Google it. Let's see pytest uh, test pattern. Uh, test file name pattern, changing test discovery. Here we go. Uh, where's the, here we go. Python files. This is what you'll, you'll adjust in your pytest file. Pytest.ini. So you could use python files equals star.py. Uh, I believe that will work, but I don't recommend this because it kind of, you end up with a not enforced um, you know, convention there. Uh, but just to show you, if we were to move that poorly named file to tests, whatever, test.py, 
Now PyTest is going to discover both of those. So that's that's kind of the fix here. Set up your good hook, and uh, then you never have to think about this again because it'll prevent it for you. All the files. Cool. Awesome. Anyway, uh, this is a pretty common pitfall, and I... Uh, Go check your test suite. Make sure they're still running. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.